Now let's settle down for the details of our story, starting from the camp of the new Patriotic Party and its member of parliament for Mensha South, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, has challenged leadership of the party to set up and work towards uniting the party. According to him, it is the only way to make the NPP a credible alternative in the 2016 elections. He spoke on TV3's New Day. We should not let Ghanaians talk about Ghanaians lose hope in the fact that there is no credible alternative. I'm not sure just that because we are credible on we will get into power. But if voters lose faith in the fact that there is no credible alternative and they don't see an end to this economic management, bad things happen to the country. And what my party is doing now is killing all of us. It's killing our work. We can't talk. We can't talk about anything. Look at the, uh, the headlines here. All about it. Party people that have only a circulation of 50 are even trumpeting negative stories. <laughs> just a few weeks ago, just a few, a couple of weeks ago, I heard from my own party saying Nanado is not even a presidential candidate till we, we file the documents of the party. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's worth that this God. This is a human problem. Okay. This is an ego problem gone bad. Okay. And I think that we should all sheath our sorts. That was Matthew Opoku Prempe, Mensha South Member of Parliament and uh, with the camp of the New Patriotic Party speaking on TV3's New Day. We've been joined on the line by Dr. Bafo Eje Bewa. He's the spokesperson of the Council of Elders of the New Patriotic Party to give us some insight into what is happening and what the Council of Elders uh, are doing to ensure that the issues are resolved in good time. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, good afternoon and uh, good afternoon to your listeners. And if I may make a correction, <clears throat> I'm not the spokesperson for the Council of Elders. I happen to be a member of the Council of Elders and sometimes I get uh, you know, some assignments or what have you, but I'm not the spokesperson. Thank you for the correction. To sure. start with, um, we hear there has been a meeting uh, by the Council of Elders and a letter was written and sent to Chairman Paul Afoko and General Secretary Kwabena in Japan. Can you confirm this for us? Well, yes, there has been a meeting of the Council of Elders. The Council of Elders issued a press release and I suspect that you probably might have seen the press release. In that press release, the Council appealed for uh, calm and uh, a certain kind of restraint on everybody, including in the country at large. And also in that letter, the council mentioned that it had uh, issued advice to certain people in the, uh, within the party. As for which specific people that the advice went to, uh, I think because the council's deliberations are um, confidential, I wouldn't be able to say that you can add a, a council secretary to that effect. But if either Mr. Ejapo or Mr. Foko have told you or have given you evidence that the council has written to them, then maybe I'll be in a position to make a comment. But is it the case that you have written to them and they have acknowledged receipt? No, I, I, as I said, the council said it had issued advice to certain people. Whether the advice was in written form, by way of telephone or what have you, I think the, the, the council secretary who have received the advice could also confirm that. From the perspective of the Council of Elders, what is their reading of what is happening in the party right now and who is in charge of the party? Or who is in the leadership role of the party as we speak? Well, um, the, the council, like most um, <clears throat> uh, honest members of the party, uh, the, the council is concerned about the, some of the difficulties we have within the party at the moment. But the council would also want both party members and supporters and um, the general public at large to recognize that it is a human institution <clears throat> and it is a big party. And therefore, periodically, you, like in all other organizations, you have you know, certain kinds of negos. The, the, the council 
is asking everybody to hold their horses. You know, stop using the airways and the you know print media to throw either in window or allegations or what have you. And in in certain cases, even plain insults, either at each other or at uh, certain kinds of people, and make it possible, create the environment for whatever issues to be sorted. That is the first thing that the council is putting out. And then the council also wants to assure members and the country at large that the party is intact. It's a strong party. It's a party with a lot of history. And therefore, we are standing firm. And that whatever difficulties that there are, those uh, difficulties cannot be, you know, um, beyond a uh, solution. So again, we are just asking for people to make a positive contribution so that we can stabilize, you know, the, 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 the party and the country for that matter. What is the council's position on the regional consultations, uh, which are all geared towards asking the two gentlemen to step aside. What does the council make of these regional meetings that seem to want to oust Dr. Uh, Paula Foko and Kwabene Japon? Well, uh, at the time that the council uh, went into session, this development had been taken. So I, I cannot give you as it were a council view. But I can also, I can also mention that you know the regional officers, members, and whatnot, or are all aware that this is an established party. It's a party with tradition. It's a party with a, a constitution. It's a party with rules and regulations. It's a party with procedures. So whatever it is that any of us would be attempting to do, we are all expecting that they would be in line with both the word and the spirit of these rules, of these regulations, of the constitution. Because we have always been a very orderly party. And I don't suppose that <coughs> officers or members of the party w would put themselves in a situation where it would appear that they are flouting, you know, they lay down regulations and procedures for the party. Uh, my final question to you this afternoon would be that with barely a few months to the 2016 elections, what is the way forward? What can the party do to ensure that they resolve this in the earliest possible time? Well, you know, uh, <clears throat> the, I, I, I agree with you that in politics, you know, uh, the timing that we have now is it, it, quite, um, it, 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 it's a bit restricted. We have a very short period to go into the election. And the party, I'm quite sure, both members, officers, and sympathizers and whatnot, would all recognize that the important thing is for us to pull together, get our you know, uh, electoral uh, show on the road, get the country to understand and to recognize what is it that we can do. And fortunately, the country has seen us at work before. So as far as you know, we are concerned, and the council is encouraging everybody to recognize this, the party needs to demonstrate unity. The party needs to demonstrate strength. The party needs to demonstrate the sense of and of purpose and give the country the confidence that these people who put us, you know, good, who made it possible for our, you know, previous uh, colorful plumage, you know, to come back to us would obviously do it again. And because we are always a forward-looking party, we'll do it again. But even this time, we'll do it even better. Okay. We wish you and the New Patriotic Party all the best, and we'll keep an eye on the developments within the party. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Uh, you had Dr. Bafwa Ejie Bewa. He is a member of the NPP's Council of Elders and was given us the latest with regards to what the council uh, is doing about the internal wranglings within the rank and file of the New Patriotic Party.